discretion is advised. I mean, ultimately, it's to bring awareness and make people, you know, realize what's really going on in this country. There are a lot of things that are going on that are unjust. People aren't being held accountable for. And that's something that needs to change. That's something that, you know, this country stands for freedom, liberty, justice for all. And it's not happening for all right now. Is this something that's evolved as a philosophy in your mind? And how has this kind of progressed that you make a stand like this? It's something that I've seen, I've felt, um, wasn't quite sure how to deal with uh, originally, and it is something that's evolved. It's something as I've gained more knowledge about you know, what's gone on in this country in the past, what's going on currently. Uh, these aren't new situations. This isn't new ground. It's things that have gone on in this country for years and years and have never been addressed, and they need to be. Okay, what a hero, what a hero. And the media are treating him like a hero. He is just a, he's just a hero, that you, an unbelievable hero. ABC News has a column today by Ian O'Connor. This is from ESPN. And this ESPN, as I've said before many times, and as you know, folks, I'm always right, ESPN is just MSNBC with footballs. And ESPN is praising him. Colin Kaepernick stood tall while sitting down, which is not an easy thing to do. In fact, what he did in benching himself for the national anthem on Friday night was the hardest thing he could possibly do. The easy thing? That would be standing silently with his teammates on the San Francisco 49ers sideline, cutting against the grain of his conscience. Nobody would have known the difference, but he planted himself among the Gatorade buckets, understanding that in an age of 24-7 surveillance, he would be outed soon enough. He didn't strike the kind of dramatic pose made by Tommy, John, Tommy Smith and John Carlos at the 1968 Summer Games in Mexico. City, and that was okay. He made a statement loudly and clearly, and he said, I'm not going to stand up and show pride in a flag for a country that oppresses black people and people of color. Right, black people and people of color, like Colin Kaepernick, who earns on average $19 million a year for being one of the crappier quarterbacks in the NFL. Again, that wouldn't be the end of the issue. I mean, there, there are plenty of, of people who have made lots of money. There are plenty of black people who were making lots of money in 1950 when Jim Crow was still a thing, right? Sammy Davis was making a lot of money in 1960 when Jim Crow was still a thing. But right now, Jim Crow is not a thing. And so now, now he's promulgating lies for the lapdog media. And the media are just lapping it up. They love this stuff. They love it. And there was somebody, I thought, who wrote an interesting column who said, you know, if you're booing him, you should really be booing Muhammad Ali because Muhammad Ali did the same kind of stuff. If you recall, Muhammad Ali did take booze at the time, and he rightly took booze at the time because he said some pretty evil and egregious things. I know we've made a, a hero out of Muhammad Ali now because he, he became kind of this American spokesman later in his life, but... Early in his life, he was saying some pretty vile things about the United States and about the war on uh, the war in Vietnam. But at least back when he was doing it, there was actual serious racial discrimination happening on a systemic level across the country. That simply is not true. It was bad when he said it. Even then, it's it, it's simply not true with Colin Kaepernick now, right? I mean, these are all th this is all nonsense. The idea that that police are out there just murdering black people. That's all they care about. They're out there killing black people and targeting black people. The criminal justice system is full of racism. You know, all of this is a lie. And we've discussed this about a thousand times on the program, so no need to go through all the statistics. Again, I have full videos on this talking about all of these statistical anomalies that the left likes to cite and explaining where they come from. But Kaepernick, first of all, this is there's something cynical to this. Kaepernick is five seconds away from being cut by the San Francisco 49ers for sucking at his job. So he wanted to make this headline, and that way, if he gets cut, he can turn around and say, the real reason they cut me was not because I'm a really crappy football player. The real reason that they cut me is because I am such a standard bearer for Black Lives Matter. Okay, that's, that's, you know, that's worth noting. But here's the thing about Kaepernick. Kaepernick represents... The mainstream left. Him not standing up for the national anthem is actually what the mainstream left now believes. I, Isaiah Thomas, who it was the GM of the New York Knicks, one of the worst GMs in, in NBA history, he said sort of the same thing over the weekend. He said that white silence is violence. This is his line. I, I, I look at white silence in these issues as violence. White silence is, is the equivalent to, to violence in these issues. Hey, first of all, silence is not violence. If silence were violence, then right now I'd be punching someone. Okay, but silence is not violence, obviously. But again, look at the people surrounding him. Right, Max Kellerman is the guy who's sitting uh, directly to Isaiah Thomas's left. The execrable Max Kellerman, the worst radio talk show host in America, and uh, and he's sitting there just nodding along. This is mainstream left thought, and athletes get celebrated for this, and they get ripped if they don't do this. Right, if you sit there and you say something like, "I don't think America is a very racist place. I think America is a pretty great place." 
then you get ripped as a sellout. You get ripped as an Uncle Tom. If you if you do what Kaepernick did, you get praised by the media, sports and political both. Whoa, what a what a courageous guy. What a courageous guy. Well, funny, it's only courageous when the guy is earning nineteen million dollars a year for throwing a football. You know, it's 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 amazing. Again, if, if you have a, if you have the same guy making the same amount of money saying the reverse, which is actually true, that America is the least racist country in the history of the world, and that our cops are not out shooting black people but are largely protecting black people. That's why they're policing the inner city. Then presumably you would be called a sellout in Uncle Tom. Michael Eric Dyson, who's a, a, a racialist himself, I think he teaches at Georgetown, uh, he, he says that black athletes should all do what Colin Kaepernick is doing. Athletes must have enough courage to speak up. You got enough dough. You got enough social currency. Use your mouth to stand up for the very people who made it possible for you to become who you are. The very people who made it possible for you to become who you are. So number one, the people who made it possible for Colin Kaepernick to become who he is are his white parents who adopted him and raised him. And the people who made it possible for him to become who he is are the people who let him into a college where he could play ball, despite the fact that he probably didn't have stellar academic qualifications. The people who made it possible for him to do what he's doing are a lot of the people who are going to these football games and paying his salary who are largely white fans. The people who make it possible for him to be who he is are all the cops who are defending those games from terrorist attacks and criminals. Now, the first person that Colin Kaepernick is going to call when somebody tries to break into his house is the cops, just like every other person in the United States. But again, this is, this is now mainstream left thought, and this is the point that, that I'm building up to, is that this is all part of a, of a broader left. And people talk about the alt-right. The alt-left is the mainstream left. There is no alt-left because there's no mainstream left anymore. It's been totally hijacked by the Black Lives Matter racist movement. And you can see it, right? What Kaepernick says, the point I'm going to be making, is that what, what Kaepernick does here is fully in line with the Democratic national okay. platform. Time for some things that I hate. Let's do it. Right, intense. Okay, so uh, a few things that I hate. First of all, Kanye West is still taken seriously by people, and I don't know why. I mean, after you marry Kim Kardashian, haven't you waived any claim to being taken seriously as a human being? Uh, but nonetheless, he went out of his gourd again at the VMAs. Again, I'm not sure who's, who's even seen this. I've heard it reported on, but I'm not sure that anybody's ever watched the VMAs or that it exists. Here is Kanye West making an idiot of himself. This, of course, is a fellow uh, who is well-respected in, in the Democratic community because he's stupid. Later tonight, Famous might lose to Beyonce, but I can't be mad. I'm always wishing for Beyonce to win, so, you know, <laughs> you know just to put the, the audacity to put Anna Winter right next to Donald Trump. I mean, like, I put Ray J in it, bro. Like, <laughs> this is fame, bro. Like, we came over in the same boat, now we all in the same bed. Well, maybe different boats, but uh, you know. We, but if you think about last week, it was 22 people murdered in Chicago. You know when you're a senior and it's like the last month and you just don't feel like doing any more work? If you feel like you're seeing people dying right next to you, you might feel like, what's the point? What's the, you know, like, like life could be like, start to feel worthless in a way like I I know times for me I sit down and talk to um older like like rich people you know aka white you know but uh, uh, my role models are artists merchants there's less than 10 that I can name in history Truman Ford Hughes, Disney, Jobs, West. Uh, the words of Abraham Lincoln, everybody. So there is. So Kanye West, considered a cultural figure, we deserve everything that we get.